Okay, so number 233 and 234 of 1001 solved problems in engineering mathematics. So tungkol ito sa geometric progression. Okay, so try nyo munang sagutan kahit wala pang mga choices para ma-practice. Okay? Okay, so let's start. So number 233, ito yung mga choices natin. The fourth term of a geometric progression is 216 and the sixth term is 1,944. Find the eighth term. Okay, so ano bang formula ng geometric progression? So hinahanap natin eighth term. May given tayo na fourth term. Ito daw yung fourth term natin, 216. And then sixth term ay 1,944. So ano bang formula for, is, uh, for geometric progression? We have a sub n equals a sub 1 times r to the n minus 1. a sub 1 is the first term, a sub n is the, yung hinahanap natin, and then r is the common ratio. So meron tayong fourth term. So ang fourth term ay a sub 4 equals a sub 1 r to the n minus 1. So kung 4 ito, minus 1, so we have 3. So i-substitute lang natin yung given. So ito yung magiging equation 1 natin. Equation 1 natin, i-substitute yung given. a sub 4 daw is 216 equals a sub 1 r cube. So, ito ang magiging equation number 1. And then, equation number 2 natin ay 6 term naman. So, 6 term, we have a sub 6. a sub 6 equals a sub 1 r to the subtract ng 1. So, to the fifth power. I-substitute natin yung given. So, ang 6 term daw ay 1,944 equals a sub 1 r to the fifth. So, ito yung equation number 2. So para malaman natin itong 8 term, kailangan isolve muna natin itong a sub 1 first term tsaka itong common ratio. So para masolve natin yan, i-divide lang natin yung equation 2 by equation 1. Okay? So divide lang natin. Equation 2 divided by equation 1. So ito yung gagawin natin. Equation 2 divided by equation 1. So we have 1,944 equals a sub 1 r to the pip. Yan yung equation 2. I-divide sa equation 1. So, divided by 216. And then, sa right side, divided by a sub 1 r, r cube. Okay? So, i-calculator lang natin yan. Itong right side, makakancel yung uh, a sub 1. Tapos, subtract the exponent since parehas r. So, r to the 5 minus 3. So, we have r squared. So, pag dinivide natin ito, i-press nyo lang sa calculator, 1,944 divided by 216, ang magiging sagot dyan ay equal sa 9. Then, kunin natin ng square root ng both sides, ang magiging value ng r ay plus or minus 3. Pero obvious naman sa problem natin, puro positive. Kaya i-ignore na natin yung negative. Positive 3 na lang ang kukuhanin natin. Okay? So, dahil meron na tayong r, solve na natin yung a sub 1. So, substitute natin sa number 1 na lang para mas ma ma maikli. So, ma or mas maliit yung number. 216 equals a sub 1. May r na tayo. That is 3. So, we have 3 cube. So, we have 216 equals a sub 1 times 3 cube. So, that is equal to 27. And then, divide both sides by 27. So, the value of the a sub 1 or the first term is equal to 8. Okay? So ngayon, meron na tayong value ng 8. So pakita lang natin yung, yung computation natin. So dito, 1,944. Dinivide natin. So ito yan, divided by 216. Ayun, so nakuha yung, yung 9. Tapos square root natin, kaya naging 3. So tapos dito, we have 216 divided by 27. So ayun, makukuha natin yung 8. So ngayon, kunin na natin yung 8 term. So ang formula para sa... 8 term ay, so 8 term is equal to a sub 1 r to the n minus 1, so to the 7th power. So substitute the given, we have a sub 8 is equal to a sub 1 is 8, and then ang r natin is 3 to the 7th power. So isolve lang natin, gamit ang calculator, ang kakalabasan dito ay letter B, 17,419. Okay, so ipakita lang natin yung computation. So we have 3 cube muna natin, 3. Press natin itong exponent. Ayan, x to the y. Pindutin yung 7. Okay, so 2,187 tapos times 8 pa. So times 8, press equal sign. Okay, 17,496 which is letter B. Okay, so next number, number 234.
Okay, so 234, determine x so that x, 2x plus 7, and 10x minus 7 will be a geometric progression. So, para maging geometric progression siya, ibig sabihin may common ratio dapat. So, itong x, ito yung uh, first term natin, a sub 1. 2x plus 7, that is the second term, a sub 2. And 10x minus 7, ito yung a sub 3. Para maging geometric progression, ibig sabihin yung r, r dapat natin ay equal sa a sub 2, second term, divided by first term, equals yung third term naman natin, a sub 3, divided by the second term. Di divide lang dun sa previous. Dapat yung r nila, yan, pa, kom, parehas dapat yung r para maging geometric progression. Okay, so substitute lang natin yung given natin. So a sub 2 natin is 2x plus 7. Bali wala na tong r, itong dalawa lang. Equate natin, 2x plus 7 divided by a sub 1, so that is x, equals a sub 3 naman, so that is 10x minus 7 divided by a sub 2, so that is 2x plus 7. So ngayon, mag-cross multiply lang tayo. Cross multiply lang natin. Okay, so yan, cross multiply. So we have 2x plus 7 times 2x plus 7, so dalawa. So magiging 2x plus 7 squared lang siya, equals itong x, i-multiply natin dito sa 10x minus 7. Okay, so i-apply natin yung square of binomial. Paano ba yung square of binomial? We have a plus b squared equal siya sa square the first term plus twice the product of the first and second 2ab plus b squared. Okay? So i-apply lang natin ito, square the first term. 2x squared, so magiging 2 times 2, we have 4. x times x, x squared. Plus I-multiply daw natin ito. 2AB. So, first term times second term, that is 14X times 2, kaya magiging 28X. Then, square natin itong 7, 7 squared, that is 49. Equals, multiply X times 10X, so we have 10X squared. X times negative 7, we have negative 7X. So, quadratic formula, ibig sabihin, gawin natin 0 yung isang side. Itong, ito ng left side ang gawin natin 0 kasi... Mas malaki tong 10x squared kaysa sa 4x squared. Okay, so ilipat natin lahat ito. Subtract 4x squared to both sides. Itapat na natin dito. 28x, so subtract 28x to both sides. Itapat na natin dito. And then, so cancel na yan. Zero na ito. And then, subtract 49. Itong 49, lagay lang natin dito sa kabilang side na to. Okay, so zero na itong right side, left side natin. Pagpalitin natin ng pwesto, tapos i- I-add natin ito, 10x squared minus 4x squared. So we have 6x squared, negative 7x minus 28. We have negative 35x and then minus 49. Yung 0 dito na natin sa right ilagay. Kung walang choices, ang gagawin natin dito, medyo mahirap i-factor, malalaki kasi yung number, quadratic formula, kung walang choices. Kaso may choices. And sa choices natin, lahat sila merong 7. Kung lahat sila merong 7, ibig sabihin pwede tayong mag-trial and error na lang dito, mag-factoring tayo. Kung meron siyang 7 lahat, ibig sabihin factor niya yung x minus 7. Okay? Kung solution niya ay 7, ibig sabihin may factor siya na x minus 7. Kasi pag sinold natin yung x minus 7 equal 0, ililipat yung negative 7, magiging siya positive 7. Okay? So masasold na natin itong isang factor dito. So, 6x squared dapat i-factor x yung isa. So, therefore, yung isa ay 6x. Tapos, itong negative 49, kung negative 49 ito, tapos negative 7 itong isa, kailangan product nila negative 49. So, itong isa ay positive 7. Okay? So, therefore, ang solution na natin ay x minus 7 equal 0. Yung isa naman ay 6x plus 7 equal 0. So, itong isa, x equal 7. Ayan. May 7 na kasi lahat dito, kaya parang given na yun. Hindi na tayo nahirapan mag-factor. Ito na lang isa ang sinold natin. Solve for x. So we have subtract 7 to both sides. 6x equals negative 7. Divide both sides by 6. Therefore, the other solution is negative 7 over 6. So we have correct answer is letter D, 7 and negative 7 over 6. Okay, so that's all. So thank you for watching. At kita-kita tayo sa mga susunod pang mga... Uh, math review para sa engineering mathematics. Kung may math question po kayo, i-comment nyo lang po sa akin channel, GTR Math Tutorial, or i-PM nyo ako sa aking uh, Facebook, RJ Enseñado. So good luck sa lahat na nagre-review. Bye-bye and God bless.